Hello and welcome to the uh, second part of my tutorial regarding <coughs> risk style maps. Um, well, in the last video, I already showed you how you can uh, generate income and uh, spawn units for the players, as well as um, how to yeah gain control of towers by destroying them, them and spawning new ones. Um, and in this uh, video, I will talk about how you can. Um, yeah, make the AI behave in the way you want it to. Well, first of all, the AI needs the pretty much the same uh, income mechanics as the player. So, um, the more castles, the more towers they control, the more income they get. And with that income, uh, let's talk about here the spawn knight too. This is um, here uh, that they call spawn knights here. The this trigger. It involves a time, of course. And this is a little bit higher than for the players, so uh, that the AI needs, when they have a def when they suffer a defeat, they need a little bit to recover. So uh, only each 10 seconds they can uh, create a knight. Um, they also need uh, 20 gold, and um, yeah, they um, need to own fewer than 20 knights, so as soon as they hit the mark of 20 knights, uh, they will stop producing, so um, that the lim uh, army size of them is limited, as uh, the population cap doesn't yeah, really work when you spawn units in. Um, yeah, and then it's basically the same like in the uh, trigger for the player, so you change the ownership of the knight of player 3 standing here to player 2. You task that knight over here, and uh, yeah, player two tributes to Gaia twenty gold. Um, and talking about the attack, um, there are actually two mechanics I worked in here. The first attack um, starts uh, as soon as player one um, captures this tower. So as soon as there's a tower here by player one in this area oops and 150 seconds have passed so um the the waves of units are coming not single units um yeah and and um player two needs to own at least 10 arches they are all arches which uh, are standing here are tasked to um, yeah, destroy the tower basically. Well, um, you should um, use attack move or even better patrol in this case, but um, both triggers are broken in the current build and will be um, fixed in the next update. Maybe if this, uh, by the time this video goes up, the update will already be there, but um, yeah, so that's the reason why I haven't used attack move right here. Um, yeah, well, this was first attacking, and um, the second trigger you can use for attack uh, for attacking uh, with an AI force is, uh, of course, again a timer. And um, here's a inverted um, reverse condition um, that is military population 10 by player one. So as soon as player one has less than 10 units. And player two owns at least 50 knights. They will move here and start attacking the castle. So um, as soon as I um, started an attack and lost many many units, the AI will notice that and start uh, the attack when I'm weak. So let's um, see how it works in in the scenario testing. Um, of course, I'll speed it up. So my first camel I'll send to get this tower, and I'll produce a few more of those. So let's capture this tower as well. So now I get this tower, and some the AI starts attacking. And what I mention uh, is that all the triggers I just showed are looped. So if I kill off his units. And he's building. Uh, he's of course building up a force again. And as soon as he has enough archers, he will start attacking again. 
So here you can see he's sending his, uh, his attack. Aim. Yeah. And the tower is going down. And prepare to capture it. 30 if I start from here and lose too many units. What uh, the basics for, <laughs> for um, risk maps are, and uh, with the tools I gave you, the triggers, uh, you can. Well, of course, you need uh, um, a little bit of time, but um, yeah, when you invest this time, you will be able to yeah create bigger scenarios with that, more complex ones. Um, you could um, give each player different buildings where they can. Um, different buildings where they can spawn units, um, maybe even buildings they can capture to spawn units, similar to uh, this one, like when here's a barracks, I can uh, create a s long swordsman in, but only as long as I control this tower, for example. And yeah, that's um, what risk scenarios are all about. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and um, see you on the next one.